Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa has ratified and issued Law 35 for 2017, amending some provisions of Law 74 of 2006 on the welfare, rehabilitation and employment of disabled persons. The amendment stipulated the replacement of the term disabled persons with the disabled in the title of the law and wherever mentioned in the law. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at today at Safriya Palace, the Vice President of the Worldwide Public Sector at Amazon Web Services, Teresa Carlson, who is currently visiting the country to participate in the Technology Week. His Majesty noted the cooperation with Amazon Web Services in the field of information technology and communication, affirming that the Kingdom is keen to develop the sector by providing adequate infrastructure and professional cadres. His Majesty added that Bahrain's strategic location has attracted various leading international companies in the field, highlighting the Kingdom's relevant regional and international achievements. Ms. Carlson briefed His Majesty the King on Amazon's programs and plans expressing the company's aspiration to enhance cooperation with Bahrain, commending its investment benefits which have attracted international companies. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a number of state officials, businessmen, journalists and media personalities. He exchanged congratulations with the attendees on the new Hijri year. The audience congratulated His Royal Highness for being honoured by the Federation of World Peace and Love in appreciation for his contributions to peace, tolerance, pluralism and coexistence. They affirmed that the award reflects the global appreciation of His Royal Highness's achievements and role in reinforcing the status of Bahrain as a land of peace, safety, stability and coexistence. The Prime Minister affirmed the importance of focusing on industrial development. He stressed the need to revolutionise both traditional and modern national industries, noting the government's aspirations for further contributions from the private sector in developing national industries. His Royal Highness stated that the government has laid the foundation for the development of the industrial sector and for the optimization of agricultural and animal products in the Kingdom. He also expressed aspirations for local produce to cross national boundaries. The Prime Minister affirmed during the meeting that the Kingdom witnesses substantial development under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and that Bahrain has earned global respect for its development, political and economic achievements. His Royal Highness affirmed his keenness to meet the needs of citizens evident by directing all ministers concerned to provide the best educational, health and housing services. He asserted that Bahrain has overcome many challenges and that it enjoys security and stability. His Royal Highness affirmed the government's keenness to develop a legislative infrastructure that would support investment and attract investors. He highlighted the importance of investment in supporting economic development and creating job opportunities. He also hailed the skills of the national cadres. The Premier also addressed businessmen asking for their suggestions to diversify the national economy.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, visited the Saudi Embassy in Bahrain today to participate in the Saudi National Day celebrations. His Royal Highness affirmed that Saudi National Day should be celebrated by all for the pivotal role of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, in supporting Arab and Islamic causes. The Prime Minister congratulated the custodian of the two holy mosques, the Saudi Crown Prince, Prime Minister and Minister of Defence, Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud, and to all the Saudi people on the occasion, noting its importance as an occasion to recall the achievements of the Kingdom's kings throughout history. His Royal Highness added that Bahrain appreciates the historic relations between the two countries, stating that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia continuously supports its brotherly countries. The Prime Minister said that celebrating with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia their National Day is a duty, praying to Allah Almighty to perpetuate the brotherhood between the two countries. The Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain, Dr. Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Al Sheikh, expressed thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness for visiting the embassy, which reflects his appreciation for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, hailing His Royal Highness's keenness to further develop Bahraini Saudi relations.
العلاقات بيننا وبين السعودية علاقات ورثناها من آبائنا وأجدادنا وقائمة على المحبة والعلاقة المتبادلة فيما بين الأشقاء عند المنطقة والسعودية قامت بدور كبير في مساندة إخوانهم وأهلهم في المنطقة فالله إن شاء الله يديمها ويعز السعودية ينصرنا على من عادانا إن شاء الله في كل الأمور اللي احنا متوجهين بها ونتمنى إن شاء الله لمنطقتنا الأمن والاستقرار في ظل قياداتنا الله يوفقهم إن شاء الله Celebrations for the 87th Saudi National Day continue today as the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority distributed gifts and warmly welcomed Saudi visitors arriving in Bahrain through Bahrain International Airport. I feel great uh, and I would like to thank uh, Bahrain for celebrating our National Day and I wish Saudi a very happy National Day and all the uh, people in Saudi Arabia and the King Salman like a second home when I left Saudi it was like celebrating like this when we flew out and then coming to Bahrain it feels the same it's like the same uh, people and they're having the same signs and the flags everywhere and we never felt any difference between Bahrain and Saudi thank you Bahrain thank you Bahrain thank you Bahrain similar to Saudi Arabia National Day it's the nice flowers and uh, people smiling to us on that nice day I saw the celebration in, in Bahrain was very fantastic and yeah, especially when I saw myself here in this country I found myself same in my country and yeah, uh, I didn't leave my country but thank you for everyone who did this fantastic celebration for, uh, for, for, for Saudi. I'm happy to be here in Bahrain and uh, to uh, celebrate our uh, national day and I will be thanks to uh, King Salman and actually I will be thanks here and the, all the staff in airport in Bahrain. This uh, national day for uh, Bahrain and for Saudi Arabia also. This is a great day for uh, all of the uh, Arab countries and Gulf countries. Thank you for uh, this festival. Thank you very much for uh, all Bahraini people and citizens. With the national day today, I'm so happy with, with Bahrain. Uh, thank you, uh, Malik Salman and Malik Hamad. A very good evening, you're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Hiba Abdel Ghafoor. Bahrain Ocean Index closed today at 1,303.6 points, marking a decrease of 4.35 points below the previous closing. The decrease was due to the fall in the investment in the commercial bank sectors, and investors mainly traded in the commercial bank sector, representing 80% of the total value of traded shares. 113 equity transactions took took place with a volume of 3,609,581 worth 813,559 Bahraini dinars. Dragon City has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Royal Charity Organization under which the Dragon Charity Fund will contribute to aid the needy members of society. The organization sponsors widows and orphans in addition to caring for the elderly and those with special needs. It also provides social health and educational care in addition to helping reduce the cost of living for needy families. Dragon City's involvement with the RCO emanates from the commitment to concept of the corporate of social responsibility. Electricity and Water Affairs Minister Dr. Abdul Hussain Mirza received JGC Group's Deputy Regional General Manager Moriyuki Aida. The minister praised the Japanese company's projects in electricity, water and renewable energy fields around the world. 
I debriefed the minister on the group's latest investment activities in Bahrain and the region and opportunities for cooperation in those fields. Moreover, expressed the company's willingness to participate in renewable energy projects in the kingdom. Bahrain's Investor Centre authorized five real estate companies with a capital of 39,000 Bahraini dinars. The centre said that the most prominent company licensed is K Real Estate with a capital of 20,000 Bahraini dinars and for Ed Real Estate Company with a capital of 10,000 Bahraini dinars. Moreover, the centre also authorized Jafria Lubricants, competing to handle the oil waste at 10,000 Bahraini dinars and Turbo Rent a car with a capital of 20,000 Bahraini dinars.